Hugo, a very tough challenge um, heading off to the league leaders this weekend. What are your thoughts ahead of this one? Yeah, it's a tough task. Um, you know, it's a bit tougher because we're playing against a team right at the top and they're there for a reason. Uh, and I, if I'm honest with you, I expect them to go and win the league. Mm. However, you know, every te- not every team's invincible. You know, every team has their chinks uh, you know, in their armour. They've got their weaknesses as well as their strengths. And, um, you know, so we've had a good couple of days on the training ground. And uh, so, yeah, we're really looking forward to the game going up there in good spirits. As we head into the second half of the season, we're now starting to face teams that we've already played this season. And, of course, Chesterfield are one of those, a very entertaining game at the EBB Stadium. And one we took them very close, didn't we? There's two teams that both like having the ball and two teams that both like to attack. So, um, yeah, it's an, it, it, I've, I've read things this morning that people are thinking it's going to be goals left, right and centre. If I'm honest with you, I'd happily take a 1-0 win. But, you know, it's a very hard task. You know, obviously I'm, I'm sort of jesting a little bit here. But it's, um, yeah, it, it, hopefully it'll be an entertaining game. And, um, yeah, we'll, we'll be going up there and, and trying to do our thing as well. So, uh, yeah, we're looking forward to it, as I've said. I think it is fair to say that not many teams will be able to beat Chesterfield this season, but we can be one of them, can't we? I think a lot of it's down to how you look at teams and look at games. You know, um, we like to attack, um, and so you know that's it's, if you're good at something, then you should carry on doing what you're good at. You know, and we are good at attacking, and we're working really, really hard and getting better defensively. So uh, it's a real test for us tomorrow, uh, but I like to think it'll be a real test for Chesterfield as well. So. Um, bring it on tomorrow it should be fun we do unfortunately come into this one with a loss last weekend but I guess the way that game went you know we, we got back into it we scored a few goals at the end so there's still going to be a bit of confidence in it's the team isn't there ma- massively it, is, it was actually a mad game if, you know, having like looked back on it having watched it back and you you look at the statistics and stuff from the game and the crazy thing is I mean we actually could have won the game and it's a mad thing even at 5 nil down the amount of chances we created as the second half went on um you know, and we, we actually, I think we created something like 20 chances to their six or seven, I think it was. But the difference was they were just very, very ruthless on the back of just some individual mistakes. So uh, we moved on very quickly from it um, because we've got a tough period coming up now. So we'll always, we, we won't dwell on stuff, whether we win or lose. Obviously, we'll spend some time just reflecting on what went well and what didn't. And then, uh, yeah, we move on to the next. Sometimes a festive schedule can be a bit crazy, can't it? But the way it's actually fallen this year is it's going to be just a Saturday, Tuesday with the boxing game. So yeah. the lads are used to that. We're used to that. So business as usual, really. Well, it's the same for everyone, isn't it? In, in our division, I'm so I'm so grateful we haven't got a game on the 28th because that just makes it incredibly insane. Um, but yeah, so the 23rd, 26th, first, yeah, that's that's more than manageable. So um, and obviously just with the travel tomorrow is anyone we, we've got to do so yeah no, I, we can't complain about the schedule at all in the next, the next week or so and with what Tommy says normally obviously it might be a bit of a stupid question but I guess the focus is solely on Chesterfield isn't it we're not thinking about any of the games coming up over that period it is just solely on tomorrow isn't it of course yeah if you start thinking about stuff beyond and you take your eye off your next game then you've got a problem so yeah we're, we've only been thinking about Chesterfield since the final whistle went against Eastleigh and anything that's beyond Chesterfield, we'll worry about after five o'clock, well, probably six o'clock, with the amount of minutes they play in the games these days tomorrow night. So, um, yeah, just Chesterfield, anything else is irrelevant at the moment.